Hello grade 5, I hope everything is okay with you. In our first session, we have studied the concept of matter and we said that the matter is anything that has mass and volume. What is the meaning of mass and volume? Mass, it is the amount of matter that the object contains. What about volume? It is the space that is occupied by the object. So, everything around us is considered what? Yes, matter. Matter like what? Like this ice cream, like, uh, like this book, like this car. All of them are considered matter. Also, you are matter because of what? Because you have mass, you have mass and volume. Okay, states of matter. We have different states of water. But first, is water considered a matter? Yes, because it has mass and volume. What is the forms or the states of water? Solid, liquid, gas. Solid like what? Like ice or snow? A liquid like what? Like water? And gas like what? Like the clouds or water vapor. So everything that occupies a space and has mass is matter. The amount of matter that the object contains is considered mass. The space that is occupied by the object is, yes, volume. What about anything that has mass and volume is matter? Now, let's talk about important physical properties of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up, yes, space. Matter is made up of small particles and these small particles are known as atoms. Matter can be presented in different states. What are these states? Let's talk about these states. The first state is solid and the second is gas and the liquid and the third state is considered liquid. What is the difference between solid, liquid and gas state? Let's talk about some examples of the three states. Solid state like wood, cattle, stone, for example. Liquid like a coffee, a river. And gas like fire, like the gas in these cylinders. 